Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Namaskar Alago. So my wife recently told that I should probably start introducing myself in these videos. So my name is Siddhendar. I work for IBM as a software engineer and um, I like making YouTube videos. So I just want to talk to you today about um, a certain milestone that I achieved, uh, which you probably know by now since you read the title that I was Instagram free for one year. That this was the photo that I uploaded on November 7th, 2020 and the next photo that I uploaded on Instagram was November 7, 2021. It was not like I just stopped uploading but continued to browse on Instagram. I just deleted the app for most of the year. Now, a lot of my friends throughout the year kept on asking me, uh, why are you quitting Instagram and all those things? Because in 2020, I was very active on Instagram. It so happened that in, in, in 2020, I happened to come across this video from Yes Theory, in which Thomas Pratt, the main guy, who uh, he, he quits social media, mainly Instagram for 30 days, just to see what it feels like. Okay, And uh, this, this is a very intense and powerful video where they go in depth on how these social media sites are engineered and um, how they make us feel and etc 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 you should really watch this video i put it in the link in the description below now there is this part in that video which says about or which talks about this um, a low grade hum of anxiety in our culture and this line it really caught my eye and it made an impact on me and I just wanted to give it a shot myself. First, I thought, let me quit it for just two weeks. Two weeks went by so fast, I didn't even realize. Then I thought, let me extend it a little bit and then let's go to more, another two weeks just to get the feel of like, I'm not on social media, so let get me the feel of it. Uh, that also went by so fast that I realized three months has passed. And then I thought, okay, three months have gone so fast without you know looking at Instagram. Let me try to stretch it as much as possible. And then it became one year. I'm just going to talk about the four things that I felt were like uh, that impacted me the most. Okay. Point number one, going back to the video where he talks about that low grade hum of anxiety in our culture. That's so very true. And you know why this is? This is because your brain is always constantly getting inputs from either Instagram or from YouTube or this or that somewhere, right? It's your brain screaming that stop stop with the inputs i need time where i don't want to do anything where i just i'll keep thinking about what to do what next where am i going you know just just uh, no inputs to your brain allow it to relax so point number two i started enjoying whatever i was doing now i don't mean to be all philosophical and say that i'm like now reached to that level where i enjoy everything that i do nothing like that so hear me out basically Say for an example on a weekend where I'm taking a downtime and just lying on my bed, watching TV and eating stuff. I I'm, I was I'm really satisfied with that and I, I started to enjoy it as opposed to lying on the bed, watching TV, eating stuff and occasionally browse Instagram. Now what happens? You consciously made the decision that you want to have this downtime. But then you look up Instagram and we are so and so friend is gone out for the bungee jumping. Now what happens? If you wanted to go and do bungee jumping, you could have, but you have chosen to lie on your bed, watch TV and eat stuff. Okay, that was a conscious decision. Now you start feeling like, Are, I could have been doing this instead of look at me and just lying here on my bed, watching TV and eating stuff, you know? But that's okay, that's what you've decided to do and you should be okay and happy and uh, enjoy that. So that is one major thing that started to happen. That I, I don't know what others are doing, so whatever I'm doing, I'm having fun, okay? Point number three, comparison is a thief of joy. So let's face it, okay? Say for example, you have won one crore rupees in a lottery and your so-so friend or your neighbor won 1.5 crores in the lottery. So I'll go visit Agatha I think we should, you know, accept the fact that we are mere models, we are not enlightened souls and comparison we will do invariably and we will start feeling bad. So, and and that's what happens on Instagram also, right? You you keep seeing what others are doing and it's a highlight reel of others' lives. It's not their actual life, it's just a highlight reel. So you watch that, you compare yourself and you start, end up feeling bad. See, compare maadi ni mo hela dikhe, apa maadi relatives idare, 
ಅವ್ರ ಅವ್ರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಲಿ ಬಿಡಿ ಅವ್ರ ಕೆಲಸ ಅವ್ನ ನೋಡು ಮದುವೆ ಆಗೋದ ನೀನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಅವ್ರ ನೋಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳಾಯ್ತು ನೀನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಅವ್ನ ಆ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ನೀನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಡೂ ನೋ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಡೂ ದೇರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವಾಗ ನಾವೇ ಹೊಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಹೋಗಿ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದೆಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೋಟೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಬಲ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಫೋಟೋ ಆರ್ ಅ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ದಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಲುಕ್ good in this photo so that it can be uploaded on instagram is this photo instagram able right so the pressure of taking the right photo or the right video that will go off you will just take and then you will have fun and you'll keep it you'll watch it and in case if you want to share it with your friends you share it on whatsapp group that, that's what even i did also so it's not like i stopped taking photos i started i started taking photos and that whole point of like uh, not being able to share with people i sh- i st- pan the hell out of my friends groups saying that okay we went here look at this blah 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 all the photos so the whole pressure of taking the the right photo in the right look and the right video that was gone and i tell you it's liberating it's liberating without that whole stress having said all this um i must also admit that there's one thing that i miss about not being on instagram it's that the whole process of you know uh, capturing your journey on instagram um and with the ease with which you can go back and this and just check you know oh last year he did that we did that we did this look we ha- how we are you know that thing i really miss because. so now with this youtube channel and all i don't think so i can um, get away by not being on instagram anymore because uh, well it's fun and with this youtube channel perspective it's very much needed so the next challenge for me would be with the knowledge that i have now and the experience of not being on instagram and what good it did to me with this in mind i should be very careful and i should figure out a way to navigate through instagram in such a way that i enjoy it but still not allow to not allow it to mess up my mind um so that's the next challenge for me let's see how it goes that's all from my side i hope this video added a little bit of value to your life and uh, i hope you take this experiment and try it out and see how it feels like for a couple of weeks um if it did add a little bit of value to your life do hit that like button and those of you who have subscribed thank you so much yeah it, it really means a lot and for those of you who haven't uh, it's okay yaar aaram mari until next time peace